Hi there, this is Orchrist86. Thanks for joining me today. We'll be taking a quick review of the Shadowrun Beginner's Box set. A lot of people have asked me, well, what's in the box and for? So I figured, why not? I'll do a quick video. Uh, so the first thing you're going to take a look at is you're going to get all these items out of the box. Right? Um, got the box here. The items can kind of be roughly broken down into two types of items. You have lore type items and mechanical items. So the first item we're going to look at here is Fire and Frost. It is a little bit of a novella. It's a piece from a novel that's out. Uh, it provides a nice background setting for the language, the character types. It gives a nice little intro. Catalyst has been including this kind of literature in their box sets, and I think it's fantastic that they keep doing it. Next is Miss Myth. Miss Myth is the face of the group. She's a player character. There are character sheets for her. This has all sorts of information on the character. Um, copies of hit sheets. Um, information on like what kind of things they would choose. It's information on the character themselves. Stuff that you would use for role-playing. If you as the GM are going to take over one of the player characters, that's the one. It's going to provide you everything you need to provide a fleshed out character for your first time runners. And the next thing you're going to get is the Edge of Now. This is all sorts of stuff about the world as it is. Things about the corporations, right? So we have here information on like as technology. And information about the day in the life of the runner, magic in general, running, sex, and beautifully illustrated. But again, it's mostly lore. It's to help you build the universe out for your players. Now we get into the crunchy bits, kind of the fun bits, the mechanical stuff. So first things first, dice. Well, dice. Why they're blue, I would have chosen red or black. Whatever. There's 12 of them. And for the starter box, basically all you need. You might have to roll uh, them a couple times in some cases, but for the most part, you're not going to really have to. Next we have the character sheet. Right, you get these beautiful, glossy character sheets. All your characters. Now, they have abbreviated player sheets here, uh, wound tracking and all that stuff. Everything you need that you expect off of a Shadow One character sheet, just in a real nice format. If you plan to do multiple runs, if you plan to play this several times, get a piece of paper, track all your stuff on that, don't ruin your things. The art is beautiful, it's worthy of framing if it didn't have all that stuff. And one of the other things I want to point out, right here, Character information, right? Who is this person? It's some basic fleshing out for RPG purpose. Next, we got this. This is the quick start rules. It covers everything you need to know. Basics of when to roll, what to roll. Opposed rolls, skill test rolls, what things affect them. And then, of course, it's got your first shadow run. Everything is fleshed out. It provides NPC stat blocks, right? Uh, it's got information on how to determine difficulty, and tips for GMing, I mean, all, all that kind of stuff. One of the nice things it's got too is it's got, this is your GM screen, is the last page of the book, right? So you've got everything you need for looking up all your roles, your modifiers, and referring to the player's stat blocks without having to ask them for the sheets. There's two other little items in there. One is kind of uh, this thing here. It's basically start here with these items, and that's how you use the box. The other thing you get is this. It's advertisement for other Catalyst products. A advertising. They're going to do it. You should buy some of it. Catalyst rocks. 
So, who is this box set for? The there's there's one pre-done shadow run, right? And it, it's pretty minor, stuff. but it's a nice introduction to the universe. Are you gonna play it multiple times? Probably not. Does it give you enough information to create your own? Yeah. Um, you're not gonna be, you know, doing dragons and all sorts of crazy stuff, but low-level straight thug shadow runs? Yeah. So you can probably get three or four nights out of this before you have to make that call of whether or not you're gonna invest in the next setup. So again, that sheet I showed you, right, the back side of it, where, where you go next, right? Right, so you can go into one of the next suggested missions, or of course they suggest going straight to the Shadowrun 5e book. Now the 5e book, of course, is going to be very crunchy, lots of detail, all sorts of systems, things to get into, details, weapons, all that stuff. Is it the next step for you? I don't know if you're an introduction kind of person, if you want less crunchy systems, Anarchy might be a better sell for you. That said, uh, it is absolutely a beginner's box. And not just a beginner's box, it is like, um, how do I want to describe this? It's it's like my first shadow. It's for play people who have never role played at all. And so it's as much an introduction to role play as it is to shadow run. And that can be really beneficial. So if this is your first time role playing and the aesthetic of shadow run appeals to you, this, this is it. Right, this is where you start. If you know something about Shadowrun, if you have roleplayed before at all, probably not. Go ahead and spend the extra between $20 and $30 to bone up to the $470 levels, $50, $70 levels, something like that. Get yourself either Anarchy or the, the 5th edition, right? With all the rules, all the details. Because you're not going to be happy with it. If you're a collector of all things Shadowrun and you just want it, fine, okay, get it. It's a pretty box. Beyond the pretty box, not so much value. I mean, even the dice are pretty plain Jane, right? That's And that's something that I would have liked to have seen. If you're gonna sell this box, give me something that I can bring on further, right? These characters are nice, but they're not your own. The dicer, it's nice to get plenty of dice, but once you get to the full 5th edition, you're going to need like another 50, 60 dice, because that's the way Shadowrun goes, right? I mean, it is the dice-heavy game. So, there's not much to go on. Um, the, the Game Master sheet is nice, but get something better elsewhere. Uh, so, again, who is this box for? Absolute beginners. It's a great gift. For your son, daughter, cousin, nephew, brother, somebody who has never played an RPG and is nervous about it, but likes cyberpunk -esque. That's who this box is. If you are like me, not the greatest purchase, probably not at all. I want more out of this, but I'm going to use this for my kid and see if I can get my wife into it. That's what I'm going to use it for. They've never roleplayed really. But for you, I think maybe, maybe not, if you've already done this stuff before. Hopefully this gives you a really good look at, at what you're going to find in this book. The production value is really nice. Everything is glossy. Everything is beautifully done. Lots of lovely artwork, right? They're nice quality components, but honestly, they probably could have gone a little less because again, you're not going to use it again. Not beyond three or four um, uses. Now, if you are uh, in a group and you're looking to explore Shadowrun, and you're not sure about the universe, spending $20 on this is probably a good idea. If you've got three or four players, including the GM, who want to do this, 20 bucks, right? Four dollars each. It's gonna be like a dollar an evening. 
for you guys to squeeze some serious fun out of this. Go for it. If you're not nervous about this kind of stuff, if you want to just dig in, splurge for those higher end books. You'll thank me for it in the end. I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, I'm going to post a couple pictures after this so you can get some nice product shots. Um, and if you have any comments, any additional questions, whatever, please let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them. The best way to get me is Twitter at orcrist 86 at O-R-C-R-I-S-T-86. Best way to reach me. Thanks much. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.